Hey everybody, welcome back. Doing a little Monday mail call. What's up, Max Bravo? Max Bravo. Oh yeah. Bear with me here as I get things lined up a little bit. Testing out a new tripod. Hopefully it works a little bit better than the old one. I don't have my backup screen going though, so. What's up, Big Cheese? David's here. Keith, what's up? R. Campbell's here. Keith's member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. One of the members, Max Bravo, David, Knife Dude, Teton, Teton, Mikey Rass, Penny's here. What's up, G-Man? Jack's Knife Reviews. Hey, 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 what's up? Yeah, Jack, I'll definitely need your help on that stuff. What's up, Mike Dale? He's in the house. What's up, buddy? Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Just got done with dinner. Right on. We're going to do some mail calls today. Beefers here. Right on, knife dude. Right on. Pronounce Teton. Okay, Teton. Teton's in the house. Watching a movie with the family. John's here. What's up, John? How are you, buddy? Nice, nice. Mean Jeans here. Cool. Do a little Monday mail call. Menace is here. What's up, Menace? Uh, Instagram's good or email. That's perfect, yeah. Right on, John. That's cool. Gonna do a little, put some stuff out here. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hey, Chad's here. Southern Edge Knife Works. Everybody say what's up to Southern Edge Knife Works. They sponsor all sorts of awesome stuff here on the channel and give you guys a fantastic discount, 15%. Just type in on their website when you check out, Zach15, give you 15% off. Just go to southernedgeknifeworks.com. It's good stuff there. And free shipping in the U.S., so and international shipping's flat rated, so good stuff there. Good, good stuff. Okay, right on, right on. Uh, just email me at zach.edc at gmail.com. Should also be in the description of this video. Woohoo! Yeah, 15% off. You can't beat that. All those benefits go right to you guys. So, yeah, Mediator's back in stock. That's so awesome. You guys see the mail, you know, the, the channel mail unboxing knife right here. The Tengu tool. So, you know, we're going to see some, some new products. Some new stuff. Be good, good stuff. See, I need to do these a little bit different. I got these holographic stickers. They're a little small. Still pretty good. Max, oh, yeah, I don't know. You might see a new Benchmade on here. I don't know. Do a little sneak peek. You guys see one of the new Hunt Knives? Man, one of my favorites. I'll show you one of my favorites right now. I gotta go pick one of these up. What's up, Big Red? A little Monday mail call live. Big cheese. So this is the Hidden Canyon Hunter, I think. But it's the Dash 1. So you have the upgraded S90V. Yeah, Mikey, I'm able to show you a little sneak peek of what I was talking about. It's got that beautiful, beautiful handle. Yeah, Big Red's in the house. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. If you want to join up, get exclusive content, all that good stuff, just hit the join button down below or there's a link in the description. Get exclusive content and all sorts of funness. So, got something cool planned for you guys this week in Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Uh, last week you got uh, the hunt videos a few days early, so that was kind of cool. What's up, David? So I like this one. This is a perfect size for me. They make a bigger sized version. Um, this one's perfect for carry though. What's up, Rodney? Rodney's in the house. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Right on, right on. And then if you don't like the orange, you can flip it over. You got black. So I like kind of I kind of like the orange though. You guys know me. So yeah. What's up, Sharp Bevel? Kodiak, right on. See the Manskis here? Heck yeah. 
yeah, we're gonna we might be checking that out if that's what I got in one of these packages. So menace, gotta get in on those uh, giveaways, man. Definitely drinking a little water today, trying to stay hydrated. Kyle Thomas in the house. What's up, Kyle? Everybody, give Kyle a little shout out. He helped me out locate a knife that was on my list, so that's cool. What's up, Spirited Blades? Oh, your PM2 Tanto. Tanto is coming in. Right on. That's cool. That's cool. All right. Well, let's see here. We got a few people in here. We've been in for about five minutes, so let's go ahead and move some of these out of the way. We'll admire from afar. We'll put these up here. Maybe I'll put this one off to the side because that's what I was carrying today. Sharpened a knife with sandpaper. I have not tried that yet. Yeah, so let's do, let's look at the first thing that came in. Got a few things that came in the mail, so we'll take this out. We got the Tengu tool from Benchmade, little 20 CV. Beautiful, beautiful. You drop a sandpaper right on. So we got a little package from our friends at Log and Jotter today. Got my subscription that came in. Let's find out what's in the package. A couple things. Ooh, look at that. Well, that's kind of cool. Make a story, tell a story. Upside down. A little dot matrix going. You guys see that okay? That's kind of cool. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful picture there. I was looking to see if there's like a hidden photo on this side. And they always got cool. Oh, it's upside down on this one. <laughs> so they always got cool things. They talk about the lookout in here. It's a great notebook. Oh, nice. Spirited. You just got your first custom from Jared Oser. Oh, nice, dude. That is so awesome. Congratulations. Got a cool sticker from them this month. Made in America. Make a story, tell a story. That's cool stuff. And the second one here, just their little log and jotter. Nice standard one. That's cool. This material is so thick. It's awesome. I haven't seen the rec story giveaway yet. No. River's Edge Color, is that what you're talking about? I'll have to go watch that. Oh, nice. So that's cool. So that's the first thing we got. So we'll put this over here. Maybe we'll move this uh, sheath here. We'll move the sheath out of the way. Very cool. Very, very cool stuff. Okay, so we can get rid of that. And let's see. We got another thing here. Now, this one's interesting because I forgot this one was coming my way. And then I saw it when I picked it up who it was from. Oh, really? Your, your chat keeps switching? Well, that's no fun. Let's see here. There we go. Got live chat going. Right on. Yeah, I appreciate you guys joining me, man. It's a Monday evening. You know, not too much is going on. Hopefully you guys all had a great day. You're able to start it off right hopefully what's in here holy cow there's two things in here so i got one of the you know standard package priority boxes but it's got a couple cool things in there let's see what they are so the first one's in bubble wrap so we'll carefully open this up this is a high-tech bubble wrap that like sticks to itself oh nice you got 100 subs jack sweet Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Hey, hey, August is here. What's up, August? This is a nice knife. S35VN. Look at that. Yeah, give Jack a follow. He's been helping Big Red out. He said he was going to help me out with a little graphics for you guys. You know, if you're, a, if you're a member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew, you can check out the custom emojis those are active so in live chats and stuff you can throw those emojis up 
Yeah, it's pretty sweet. And I don't know... This one was wrapped separate. So I'll have to check on the name of this one. It didn't come with a box or anything. Oh, Mikey, you getting one? Uh, hopefully they'll show up late, man. But very nice G10. A little deep pocket carry clip. There you go. Keith threw up some knives there. Little custom emojis. Sweet. I like this. It's very bug out esque, with a little bit different shape of the blade for your thumb to rest. Kind of has the axis style lock, but got a lot of. Oh, there we go. You can flip it closed. Just need a little, little bit of extra rocks. Yeah, that's sweet. Okay. And then the other one came in a box. Oh yeah, you just have to open two. Yeah, right on. Oh, you carried your bug out today. Right on. This one's Black Mamba off-grid knives. It came in that box. So we're gonna check this one out. See what this is. Oh, something gets stuck in there. Oh wow. Oh, the coin was in there. Oh, look at that. That coin is wicked. You guys see that? Look at that. The Elite Series. What's up, Winchester Inc.? Welcome, welcome. That's pretty slick. Yeah, that's a good rotation. That's a really good rotation. Okay. So we got a little off-grid knives here. Put this off to the side. Got to pop that coin out, though. So when I change scales in my bug out, Mikey asks... Not worried about voiding the warranty? Not really, because here's the thing. I always keep a set of stock scales, and if I have to send something back in, I'll throw it on those. You know what I mean? Look at that. All the milling on the scale. Kind of that honeycomb pattern. Beautiful. Little frame lock. Ah, this will be a fun one. Look at that deep carry clip. Yeah. I'll have to try this one out tomorrow. Yeah, this is a Black Mamba off-grid knife. And I'll tell you what. No, I mean, they're, they're going to take it apart anyways. So, to fix something on it. So, I wouldn't worry about it, Mikey. Just don't break something else when you're doing it. <laughs> Man. Some good action. No. Just a flipper, manual. Fits good. Everything locks right in. Yeah, definitely. What's up, Nick? So you said never mind. Sorry if I miss some. Yeah, exactly. Benchmade has a great warranty. The detent's pretty cool because you can hear it lock in. Listen. That lock-in detent. Woo! This one's sweet. We're going to lay that one down right there. Dang, that's awesome. Okay, what else can we open up here? Let's see. We've got the off-grid knife. We've got the log and jotter. Looks like there's... Oh, there's tape inside that box. That's why. Yeah, I mean, maintaining it's good. I mean, here's the here's the thing. You know, if, if, if you totally... I'll tell you this about their customer service. Their customer service is, like, stand-up awesome. And, you know, I've heard a story of someone who tried to swap out their scales. Oh, Boney Blades is here. What's up, Boney Blades? And in that process, they messed it up. Couldn't get it back together, so they sent it all in in a bag all the parts, all the screws, everything, liners, scales, blade, taped it up, of course, sent it back to Benchmade and said, can you help me out? Now, normally they charge a fee. They're not a big fan of putting people's knives back together, but you know what? They took care of it. And, you know, it's not something they want to do all the time, but they they enjoy knives as well. And they know people are going to take stuff apart and swap, swap stuff around. So I think that's super cool of a company that's like, hey, you know what? They don't they don't hundred percent endorse it right now. But I've I've walked plenty of my customized knives in there with different scales, 
different things on them and they enjoy the knives just as much as we do so just remember that they just have a policy right now you can't send them in without with that stuff on there that's kind of weird but because you know is what it is they have that liability to maintain for their own product so i got it i got it yeah southern edge knife works is here too right on yeah give them a little shout out at the beginning make sure you you know 15 percent off zach 15 at checkout it gives you 15 percent off and free shipping in the u.s can't beat that and then international's flat rate all the benefit goes to you guys it's perfect Oh, when you dyed yours red? <laughs> Getting it all lined up? Yeah, I usually use a larger pivot. Somebody else gave me an idea and said they use a chopstick. They cut a chopstick down and use that, so. Yeah. I'm not sure on Blade HQ. They have their phone services down. Well, that's a bummer. That's no good at all. So we also have one other package I want to open up. Yeah, that's a nice ferro rod. So let's open this up. I haven't seen these before um, from the fulfillment center. Usually I get boxes, but they probably ran out of them because they shipped so many knives recently. Uh-oh. CJRB. What do we got going there? Let's see if they tossed anything else in here. Oh, man, that's awesome. Look at this. I'm gonna have to put these on a giveaway. I didn't. Even, I didn't even get paperwork in here. <laughs> That's funny. But they tossed out a couple uh, Blade HQ stickers. Hashtag Knife Life. Established 2003, and then their Blade HQ sticker. So I'm gonna put those in a giveaway for today, for the live stream. I'm gonna do a little swag pack giveaway for today, because I got a special one pl uh, planned out for this next week, for the next weekend's live. And that's going to be kind of sharp and pointy if I can steal that slogan for it a little bit. She won't be too mad, I don't think. What's up, Jock's Knife? Okay, let's get this bad boy opened. If you know the model number, you know. If you know the brand name on stuff that just came out, you know. If you're a follower of Big Reds, you know. All right, look at that. We got a little poison for the trolls. Shout out to my guy, Floss. Put that off to the side. Let's get that bag open. I see a little JT's Knife Life. Joseph is here. What's up, Joseph? Oh, man. I'm trying out my new tripod, so. Yeah, I do. I love floss. What's up, Ethan? All right. Got this out of the bag. Let's take a look at that. Dang. What do you guys think? That's gorgeous. Little brass barrel spacers. What's up? Yeah, it's all good, Joseph. Hollywood Tactical's here. Oh, there you go. Right on, right on. Well, shout out to your wife. Thank you. Yeah, the Macarta's gorgeous. A little thumb stud. You can't go wrong. Hey, Joshua, how are you? Yeah, I want to do a Monday mail call with you guys. What's up, Mean Gene? Look at that. Our buddy Dylan Mallory. Did an amazing job with this, the Centros. They put it in Micarta. I mean, you just can't go wrong with this knife in Micarta. I mean, seriously. Fantastic. Now I know, yeah, I'm gonna try to do something like a Monday mail call if I can. It just means I gotta order stuff like midweek the week before or something. <laughs> this one's not locking up too bad. I know uh, Big Red had a little lock up on his little lock stick. What's up, Jerry? Welcome, Jerry. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Holy cow, and it feels fantastic. If you guys like Micarta, that Micarta is amazing. Man, that would be great, Jared, if the CF Elite Mini Bug Out was released. That'd be sweet. It would match the bigger one. I, you know, I think honestly, there's a lockup on it. What's up, D-Tom? D-Tom's here, D-Tom. Right on. Oh, if you slow roll it, it doesn't lock? Okay. I wonder if you just got a sticky one. What's up, Penny? Just gorgeous. 
I'll probably do a little short review of this one along with, I have a carbon fiber one as well that I haven't reviewed. So maybe I'll just do a combo. Cause I know I reviewed the other one uh, in G10, I gave it away in one of the giveaways. So I picked those up at uh, Blade Show West last fall. What's up tier one gear and EDC reviews? Just beautiful you guys, beautiful. Can't put it down. I'm gonna be carrying this tomorrow, that's for sure. I know today's Macarta Monday, but I'll carry it for Tuesday. I'll do a combo. I'll do like Titanium Tuesday and Macarta Monday and slam them all together. What's up, Richard? I just, hey, Richard, I just sent uh, sent you guys a little swag pack. So thanks for the email. Appreciate that. Got caught up on all my uh, requests this last weekend. Yeah, if you yeah, I'm sure there'll be a lot of people be like, hey man, well you know we'll take that off your hands. It's all good. It's all good. There's that right there. Put that sticker up there. Okay, so you guys are here for something cool, and I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek of something cool. Just keep it on the down low. Now I got the approval to show you guys this because it's already out in the out in the open. Um, I only have a short window with this right now, but a huge, huge shout out to Benchmade for getting me this so I can share it with you guys. And review's going to be filmed, but I won't be able to release that till it's ready to go. But you want a little sneak peek? We'll do a little sneak peek over here. Any guesses? <laughs> Any guesses? A little something special on there. A little pop of blue. A little OTF. A little infidel. Got some OTFs. Look at this. So you can pre order these right now. These are on pre order, they're going to be released here soon. This is the new infidel. And this is going to be. So if you want a model number, it's 3300BK-2001. So basically, um, from what I'm reading, this is going to be their limited unlimited for the year. So they're going to make these through December 31st of this year. Um, just gorgeous, gorgeous. And if you look really carefully, um, that finish is beautiful. So here's your blade. Fires right out, same blade that we love on the Infidels. And your steel, yeah, S30V on the steel. But just gorgeous. Action's fantastic. Hey, thanks, Keith. Throwing out the Zack Stuff's logos. Love it. But yeah, this is something that they wanted me to show with you guys, or share with you guys, just a little bit of this before the review. You can really see that blue pop. And let's see if we can compare it to something that we know. Um, hold on just a second here. Um, yeah, what's up, Brian? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I'm trying to find just that blue. Where'd it go? There it is. So a really common knife that we all have, or should have, or at least know the color of. And on my camera, this is the blue original Benchmade 535. Bug out. This is the one I put through all the nasty, crazy testing. If you haven't seen it, I did a video of what breaks the bug out. This thing survived. Um, but here we go. So there's your color differences. And hopefully that shows a little bit. So you can see how shiny this blue is. It just has that fantastic shine to it. Try to do it in a couple different lights. Oh, SMKW has the banter? Oh, but not online. Okay. Yeah, I heard they were getting some. Yeah, the blue one's already sold out again on Blade HQ. I checked today. So anyways, yeah, that's the Infidel, the 3300BK-2001. So again, huge shout out to Benchmade for getting this out. So I get a review done on it, share with you guys what it's going to look like. And you know I'm going to pick one up because I picked one up last year, that kind of copper bronze colored one they did with that same kind of shimmer finish. So it needs to have a partner. So it shall be there. 
So yeah. So anyway, so that's the cool stuff I got my Monday mail call today. Took my post office a while to get everything put out. I understand they go through a lot of it. Um, yeah, you can own it. You just can't carry it, right? That's the worst part. But I have to say the most exciting one that is mine on this table is this one right here. Yeah, if you guys could like the live stream, heck yeah, that'd be cool. Thanks, D-Tom. D-T-O-M. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it, Southern Edge Knife Works. Yeah, that's a good question is on their shipping. I know a lot of companies are a little hesitant about that. They want to follow the rules too. Hey, what's up, old Sasquatch? Welcome, welcome. But you guys, I'll tell you, these are still available. And I think Blade HQ had them. It was like $57, I think. Yeah, the green canvas micarta. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah, I appreciate you guys liking it. That's awesome. Yeah, you have to just win them <laughs> or, or have somebody on a, you know, have one of those uh, raffle channels or something sell one to you or who knows or win one. Anyways, this Centros is fantastic, you guys. The only thing that I would do, and I might, I might try my hand at some mods. I mean, there's a little lanyard hole for you if you want to throw a lanyard in there, but I'm good without it. Yeah, so a lot of the the knife dealers have those um, infidels on their website for pre-order. So you can check out those infidels right now. The prices kind of vary. I think the retail is like five twenty-five, and they kind of go down from there depending on where you buy them from. So, and I think uh, you know, of course, on Benchmade's website, you, you're not able to pre-order knives on their website, but you can do a sign up for the email notification. And it usually goes out the morning when they drop them. So, and that one will drop here in a couple weeks. So, but I think what I'm going to do is, um, is take the liners and the pocket clip and try to like darken them up a little bit, or maybe at least the pocket clip. I'm kind of more of a like, you know, darker pocket clip kind of guy. Or maybe like a stone wash, because this is still, this has a little stone wash to it. But, I mean, it pops great with the Micarta, though. All the hardware and everything, so. Maybe I won't do the liners. They look pretty good, especially with the little brass standoffs, little barrel spacers. Yeah, I should send it to Justin and be like, hey, can you do a bronze finish all around? That'd be awesome. Yeah, I'll have to ask him. Or maybe I'll just buy one and ship it to him. And say, hey, when that's done, here's 10 bucks to ship it back to me. Uh, yeah, whatever, Jack. You know, I mean, you're an artist. So whatever you want to pick or I can send you some logos, you know, or you can swipe them off my stuff. I've I've messed around with the colors a little bit. Um, what do you guys think about the new color? I'm um, thinking about doing some new stickers. Um, I've had these stickers made up here. I've had the orange ones made up. But I switched over everything to like my blue background with the white and gray lettering. And so hopefully that pops a little bit more on YouTube. I was trying to get something that would show better, especially on mobile devices. Because the orange logo with the black writing didn't show very well. So nice. Two shovels, you dig them? Right on. That's cool. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Jack, sorry. Disregard that. Disregard. Hey, what's up, Tom? Tom made it right on. Okay, you guys like the new logo on there on the YouTube and stuff? It's it's what I switched my Instagram to a while back, maybe a month or two ago. Yeah, it's crazy. What's up, Women Carry Knives? Hey, give Women Carry Knives a shout out. She made it right on. I just saw one of your videos you posted today, so I gotta finish watching the rest of that one. Had to drive home and have a family member dealing with some stuff at work uh, related to the funness that we all have been going through, so that's never fun. What's up, Sharp and Blade?
Oh, I got you. The orange pops more. <laughs> the orange is the new black. Yeah, that makes sense. The blue blends in a little bit more. But it's hard to read, so maybe I'll try to try to do like orange with white or orange with gray or something. I just want something to contrast more for the smaller mobile devices, but yeah. Live and you learn, right? <laughs> nice. So what are you guys carrying today? We're a half hour in. You guys saw what I was carrying today. I was calling I was carrying this fantastic 940 BK-2002. Okay, nice. That's cool. You know, can't go wrong with this one. Just got to black out those liners. Okay. Yeah, the blue does bleed out more. Okay, cool. I appreciate that. Oh, okay. We got a Cold Steel 8010. That's the hey, carrying a big knife today. So calm Elite Manual, another another awesome big knife. M4 Bailout. Yeah, that's a good one. Blue G10 940. Yeah, right on, Max. <laughs> yeah, Mikey the Clip though. What's up? Therapeutic Edges here. Member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Give give Peter over a Therapeutic Edge a little shout out. Man, I love your videos. I love the, the uh, you know, what's in your pocket today. Is that what you call it? The, like, really short videos, like what you're carrying today. I love those. Benjamin Nakamura, Koenig Aris, TRM Adam with Green Micarta. Ooh, that's a nice one. Oh, there you go. A little feminine design. That's cool. Keith's doing good. Right on. You're, oh, Hollywood's got a new Ruger CRKT. Going heavy. Yeah, dude, that one's thick. Small copper Arkeo. Until tomorrow. <laughs> we have to see that one. Griptilian, Mini Grip, and Capara. I mean, that's a fine choice, Jade. Benchmade Mini Grip, Para 3 Lightweight, QSP Harpy. Is PVK Vegas legit? PVK Vegas is super legit. So much so, I bought a whole bunch of stuff from them. And most recently, uh, this beauty, this ProTech SBR sh short rock eye. Whew. Fantastic. Um, they also have amazing custom mods that they do on knives. So if you ever go there and you spend, spend a good grip of money or you go there with like a celebrity... They might show you like the secret location they have. And they don't take you off site either. It's not like a it's not like a throw a bag over your head kind of thing. Oh, you're saving up for the atom? Nice, yeah. Yeah, Christine, yeah, there's a lot of people saying, What up? Oh, John's got a couple bench maids at the desk right now. M4 bailout, gold class mini crew river. Oh, that's a nice one. The nine forty two thousand one, the titanium, and the eighty seven. Oh, and your tactile turn type in. Man, John's loaded up. Brian's got the Benchmade 531. Oh, that's an awesome one. I love that one so much. Let's see. I think I got one right here. Yeah, the 531's like the pre-bug out. So awesome. G-Man's got the PM2 Tanto. Oh, you got in there? Right on, Keith. Yeah, it's awesome back there. I ended up buying knives after I did that. I mean, that's like a... That's how you sell product. Yeah, Big Red had the Centros. I'm jealous, man. Your your post office like hooks you up. They like do they like open the package for you and like get rid of all the wrapping and stuff? Oh, you're selling a couple of ZTs. Okay. Anybody wants some ZTs? John's selling some ZTs, so that's awesome. Oh, you got your two new concept knives. <laughs> you're not sure what they are yet? That's cool, Christine. Oh, you, which one did you get if you didn't get the Micarta one? I'm going to move my tripod just a smidge. So it's not your monitor, it's me. Hey, Glock by my side. Hey, what's up? You got to run? Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, if you want some ZTs, ask John. He's got some, he's going to be letting go. So that's cool. All right, we're going to show this one more time, and then we're going to do a little swag giveaway. It's that new beautiful blue 
Infidel from Benchmade. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, we'll talk about the Asher right here. It's like, I mean, it reminds me of the bug out. But yeah, let's definitely talk about it. I want to get a review done on it. That'd be sweet. But yeah, that blue is just amazing. So that's the new one that's coming out in the next couple weeks. Oh, you out of here, Menace? All right, man, take care. I appreciate it. Definitely appreciate it. There you go, Boney. John, John and Boney need to hook up. Be like, okay, what do you got? Yeah, better materials and cheaper. Yeah, definitely. The G10 feels good. It's got that tackiness, but it's not sharp. Um, I would I would say reminiscent of a smoother Spyderco G10. Is that a good way to describe it, Peter? I mean, that's how that's how it feels to me because the Spyderco G10 is like real rough, and that's like a lot smoother. So I kind of dig that. It's not standing on that pocket clip. Sorry, guys. I still dig this this coin though. I'm gonna have to try to order one of these with a with a coin. Black Mamba off grid. I think it's so sweet. Oh, you said did I see your comment? Uh, I did not see your comment. I think Hollywood's here. Oh, John's got the zero three nine three and the zero four seven zero. Oh, if I grip further down, I'll have to check that. Like down here? And it had blade play or something you were saying? Let me go back and look at your message. Funky blade play? Funky Cole Medina. No, I don't think so. If we grip further down. There's a little side to side in it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you're not, I mean, here's the thing. There's no up and down. Little tiny bit of side to side. But, I mean, if it's got an axis style lock and it's got a bar, I think you're pretty well dialed in. I wouldn't mind taking it apart. What's up, Travis? We'll see if I can get taken apart and take a peek at it during my video. That'd be kind of cool too. Just to look at it for everybody. Oh, it's all good, John. Yeah, I mean we're here. We're here together as a community. So if you have a couple of knives and people are like, "Yeah, let's let's make a let's make a connection," then that's perfect. Oh dang, you got? Did you get one of those spirited? Oh, I haven't seen those. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, I see the Mansky knows what's up. All right, sounds good, Peter. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Very nice. That's awesome. Well, let's put together a little swag pack today. Let's do a little swag. We'll throw in some stickers, throw in some log and jotters. Uh, Max, I'm not able to release a, a month for you. It's not public information yet. Yeah, this giveaway is kind of an extra one. I just want to sh show you this live stuff. And because uh, it was time sensitive to show you this this bad mamma jammer right here, just a gorgeous, gorgeous knife. So want to do a Monday mail call, jump out there early, kind of dipped out of work early, so it was kind of nice. I'm like, man, I want to hang out with my knife community friends, man. Do I prefer the Centros or the Feldspar, uh, Travis? I prefer the Centros. Uh, thinner for me. I'm, I'm a 940 fan from the back in the day. So to me, that's one of those things that, you know, this has that thin handle, um, very pointy blade and longer, but yeah, to me, that's where it's at. And, and there's quite a difference and I'll show it in my review. I do between the carbon fiber and this Micarta, this Micarta is fantastic. So I, I don't get any credit for selling those, but if you get an opportunity to buy one with Micarta, do it that's great okay so we got some blade hq swag that they sent with this knife oh hey ryan pearson's here pearson custom knives give ryan a little shout out yeah definitely um let's let's give some let's get some swag away so let's give let's give some swag let's do this this log and jotter we got to get something to write with let's see do i have it handy 
Darn it, I don't. Okay. So we're going to do a Zebra F701. That's one of those steel pens. I thought I had it here. Sorry, guys. So we'll do Log and Jotter. We'll do one of those Zebra pens. And then let's stack up some swag. We're going to put this little unboxing knife for the channel away. We'll bring it out of its rest next time we get some. But let's throw this swag out there. We're going to do Zach stuff, holographic sticker. You're going to get a little orange sticker from me. Let's throw out, uh, where's the other stuff? We got damn designs. What else we got here? We got Southern Edge Knife Works. We're going to find some more of these. Of course, you got to get some bigger Zach Stuff stickers to represent. So we'll get all those. And I'll find a couple other stickers to throw in there as well. But I think that's a great swag pack for a Monday mail call. And if I, if I continue to do the Monday mail calls, if I get, you know, maybe it's every other Monday or something because I don't, you know, I get pass around stuff, which is great. Um, but it usually doesn't come on Mondays. <laughs> so anyways, uh, yeah, so there's like, uh, there's over 50 people here. We had so much fun with the uh, live giveaway yesterday. Uh, that stuff all shipped out last night, so that's fantastic. Um, let's do a little giveaway today. Let's do the little swag giveaway. So we'll do uh, the live swag. Oh, you know what else we can include? Oh, let's see. Oh, Southern Edge Knife Works is going to throw in a hat and a koozie? Look at that. Man, that's awesome. You guys are great. You guys are fantastic. Thank you so much for all the support of this community and my channel. You guys are awesome. So Southern Edge Knife Works is going to throw some stuff in. A hat and a koozie. That's great. I saw that on uh, Slicey's channel. He had one of those koozies. And <laughs> he was bummed because he ran out of uh, his beverage in it. And he didn't notice because of the weight. <laughs> and that was a bummer because he only had one. So I think that's why he uh, ended his live stream so early. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so then we're going to do the swag. And then we're going to have the pen in there as well. And then let's go ahead and do a, we're going to pick a number. If Big Red's uh, available to throw a start up there in just a second. What's up, Jason? You're just in time. Here, since you're late, we're going to give you a special edition of the showing you what's up, what you missed earlier. Yeah, exactly. He, he didn't want to get on the bad side of Molly, definitely. But this is for Jason. This is the new Infidel. It's coming out in a couple weeks. That blue is just fantastic. And it's that really shiny finish. So it's not a polished finish where you're going to get fingerprints. So that's what I love about it. Because I'm not a fingerprint fan. But I'm, you know, I've been touching this one a whole bunch. And you just don't see fingerprints. So uh, we'll do a number between 10 and how many people are on here? Are 60 on here now? Right on. What's up, Mark? 10 and... 99 and then I'll write the number down here out of the camera and let's see here we will do number show, 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 show. No, I'm just kidding everybody's like what 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 um, we will do a certain number that was yeah it, it'll have some meaning hopefully so anyways, and I have some other swag I'll throw in as well. Uh, it's just in, in a drawer uh, where I can't reach. So we'll throw in some stuff. What's up, Todd? Welcome, welcome. So what we're going to do is there's a, one number on here between 10. What did I say? 10 and 99 is the spread. So we will do... Yep, one number between 10 and 99 You'll get one opportunity, one guess only. Big Red's going to throw a start up on the screen. And once you see that start from Big Red, then you'll go ahead and guess. One number, one number only between 10 and 99. We're going to do prices right rules. So if uh, you go over, then you don't count. 
Uh, but if you're the closest or you hit it on the head, then you're going to win. If more than one person is the closest or hits it on the head, then we will do round two or even like round three, a final battle. So anyways, yeah, we'll get that up on the screen. Big Red will give us the go ahead. You guys throw in your one guess. We'll do a little live. Oh, awesome, man. You put the rules in there too. Thanks. I appreciate that. People throwing down some numbers. I love seeing all the numbers, all the guesses. This is fantastic. Got a good spread of numbers tonight. That's so awesome. Happy Monday night to you guys. Again, I'll plug it just for myself. If you want to join my Zach's Daily Carry crew, there's a link in the bio. You can also click the join button right next to the subscribe button. It's one tier only. Everybody gets the same amount of access. Early access to videos and pictures and some exclusive content. So, he says 76. What's up, Professor ADC? Get one guess in there for you, Professor. You win a swag pack. Had to close my door real quick. <laughs> hey, you know what? You never know. Could just be random, but so yeah, Professor ADC, pick one number between ten and ninety-nine. You only get one guess, um, and you're gonna win a swag pack. You're gonna win um, the Log and Jotter notebook. I'm gonna throw a zebra pen in there, and then Southern Edge Knife Works is gonna throw in a koozie. What's up, Jesse Lopez? And in addition to the koozie, they're gonna throw in a hat of theirs as well, which is awesome stuff. I'm a fan, Jesse Lopez, Professor EDC. Get your guesses in. We're doing a swag pack live giveaway right now. We're gonna run it for another probably minute. Got some more people joining. Fam cams here. So get your one guess in. DE's here. What's up? Rip City EDC's here. Yep, guess one number between 10 and 99. One guess only. We're gonna do the Price is Right rules. Whoever's closest, or if you guess it on the head, then you will win the swag pack. It'd be awesome. So, got about another 30 seconds or so, and then you'll see Big Red throw up a little end of game stoppage. Vintran's guessing. Yeah, thank you guys for joining tonight. That's awesome. Wanted to do a quick little live mail call, so it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I got some good stuff, and that Centros, man, I'm going to carry that tomorrow. I was going to hope to carry it today, but no, no luck. All right. What do we think here? Kurt's got his guess up. Randy F's here. <laughs> Throwing up 86. Doesn't even know why. You're going to win a swag pack here. Doing a live swag pack giveaway. Hilltop, throw in your guess really quick if you want. Uh, if it's here before 4 p.m., oh yeah, there you go. That'd be awesome. There you go. Keith, right on, buddy. Nope, no vape here. No vape in here. That's just water. Just drinking water. Can't show you the rest of the cup because I'll get in trouble or something. I don't know if I can put their logo on my live stream. What's up, David? Welcome. Just checking in. You're setting up a tent in the living room? Okay, nice, nice. And I don't, I don't know if Big Red's still on here or not. I see him there. Big Red, do you think everybody's guesses are in? All right, there we go. <laughs> Got the stop signs and the Zach Stuff logos. Ronald. The Hook Ritters are awesome, Kurt. Oh, you got a new Blade Ossophy. Okay, yeah, I'll have to check it out. 
I'm, I'm going to do some catching up this week, definitely. I know. Today's was unexpected because I was able to kind of dip out of work early and then uh, I had some good mail calls. So I want to share that with you guys. And then those of you who just showed up before we announced the winner, it's the new Bad Boy Infidel coming out in a couple weeks. I know, Rip City, it's coming. Don't worry about it. They got a, they're got they making parts right now. Making the parts. So, yeah. Okay, so let's go and look at the... Oh, man, you got that tropical storm coming? Oh, well, stay safe. So let's pick the winner. I did see somebody guess it. I'll have to go back and look through. But I saw one person guess it as the numbers were coming through, so... Yeah, it's a nice one. The blue finish is so, so sweet. And I just can't, I can't tell you enough like that shiny finish to it, but it's not a fingerprint magnet. No fingerprint show. That's the best part. So it was to pick 10 through 99. I saw someone guess it. The number was 57 to win the swag pack. So I'm going to go back and look. I think it was Women Carry Knives that guessed it 100% right on the head. So I'll be double checking to see if anybody else guest 57 as well so give me just a minute here while i scroll through see some close ones de had 53 so you guys were in the neighborhood without going over that was good and 57 relates to what the price oh nelly said 76 that's a good year though uh, 57 was the price of the CJRB Centros from our buddy Dylan Mallory. So we'll look at that in just a second again. Where he goes, uh, you guys have just popped in a little bit. I want to show you guys what we were talking about. So I have Women Carry Knives with 57. And another 53. So I'm I'm seeing Women Carry Knives, the only one that got it right on the all right on the money. Yeah, congrats, Christine. That's awesome. I have your information, so I will send this down to you. That's so awesome. Women Carry Knives wrapping up the swag pack. So I'm going to have to make it a good swag pack. I'm just kidding. They're all good. So we'll write her down as the winner. We'll put all this stuff off to the side really quick. Let's go into her, and I'll send that info over to Southern Edge Knife Works so they can get you uh, their swag as well. But here's some of the stuff that came in, you know, today in the mail call. We have this beautiful CJRB Centros with the Camus Micarta. Beautiful, beautiful knife. Yeah, Keith, yeah, hey, that counts. I'll give you that one. That counts totally. Obviously, one of the awesome designs from our friend Dylan Mallory. Yeah, Lemansky, yeah, he nailed it yesterday. He got two of them. That's awesome. So this is one that came in. I'm loving this one. So this one's going in my pocket tomorrow and probably for a long time after that. Swipe, hashtag swipe right for Dylan. You know, if you get a chance, check out his stuff. And then if you're up for, and this is a, a sweet knife and coin that came in for me to check out and review. But it's from Black Mamba Off Grid Knives. Well, Off Grid Knives, but Black Mamba is this one. And it's fantastic. It's pretty cool stuff. But the million on this, oof. Yeah, that's good for everybody else, Jason. The streak's up. And then this is a this is a new knife that's out. You're gonna see this coming up. Hashtag holy smokes. It's a great knife <laughs> and a great coin. And then, of course, you can't go wrong with the new Hunt series from Benchmade. If you guys haven't seen my, my knife on that, I covered the whole new series that's coming out. There's only one more that's going to be released in about a month or so. So you'll see an update on that one individually. But Oh, nerves here. Nice. Oh, you got your SOG TAC XR. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, they're, they're doing some good work, so. Oh, you made a trade for Adam Purvis? Oh, wow. That's cool. It's coming in tomorrow, too. Yeah, definitely. The Black Mama's nice. Yeah, this one's a good size, so. 
Yeah, Professor EDC, they're they're back they're back to production. They were closed for about a uh, three four weeks or so, kind of back in that March to April area. Um, but yeah, they're back up and running, and things are things are clipping along just fine. The only thing that's closed still, um, you can do like takeout. You know, it's my favorite kind of takeout, which is knife takeout. Um, hey, Randy, thanks for joining, man. I appreciate it. But you can still like order stuff and pick it up um, at their, you know, world headquarters at their retail store. But you're not able to go inside anymore. So the limited infidel will not have a coin like the 10th anniversary. No, not that I've been told. And I think it's just going to be coming in this. So you get your standard black, um, black class Benchmade box and the bag with it. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful knife. So they're back up and running and things are going good. You know, like I said, they're making all those parts for that new custom knife shop. Knife that'll be added sooner than later, probably. Yeah, exactly, Winchester. You can't tell me that I didn't Google some stuff and then maybe buy some stuff on Amazon <laughs> last night and today. <laughs> Ty Addiction's here. What's up, Ty Addiction? He's got a cool channel going on. Give him a check out. Yeah, everybody's gathering up their junk. And if you haven't seen it, check out OCD for EDC's live stream from last night. Um, he's wanting people to send him boxes of junk and stuff. Um, and he is very OCD and a little touch of upset about glitter. He hates glitter. And he said he's going to come to somebody's house if they send him glitter. So I might just send him glitter because I'd like to see him out here again. <laughs> Hey, what's up, ex Navy EOD? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, he's gonna regret that. I mean, you know, if you if you've seen those videos, they're pretty awesome. Cause you can order those and put one together. Yeah, Penny, I'm putting one together too. That's great. Yeah, it'll be it'll be fun to send him stuff, and he'll do a great video. I'm actually participating this month. I'm getting a knife. Um, I'm trying to pick one out and then send it in because he does the sharpest edge or sharp, sharpest apex TSA. And I think we have till the end of the month to send them in, and it's a wild card. So your choice is DL, your choice, um, obviously, of sharpening and send it in. Obviously, it's, uh, you know, being honest about who actually made it and et cetera, et cetera. Not made it, but sharpened it. It's supposed to be you that submitted it and sharpened it. So uh, glitter glue a knife. Yeah, definitely. That's awesome. Send a Dalka. I'm going to try. I'm I'm honestly going to do like, I'm going to try to send one like regular, like legit one. And then one that's kind of like uh, the Dalka kind of thing. And be like, I'm going to see if I can get a Dalka sharp just because. Yeah, there you go. Submariner himself. Yeah, Big Red right there. Glitter infused Micarta. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Glitter is. TS-223, yeah, exactly. That's a nice one. Yeah, so you guys have any questions or so? We're coming up on an hour, and so I want to try to keep the lives about an hour. Unless you guys have some good questions, we'll do some more conversations. And, and or if, you know, somebody's got some, some knives that they're trying to, you know, showcase or something. And I will say, just as a, like, plug again, if anyone sees one of these... Short bladed rock eyes, Protec SBR with blue and knurled handles. Let me know. Um, I know people have them in their collection, but probably a lot of people aren't selling them. So there's Protec supposed to be making more, but I'm just getting antsy. But it's all good. Long story. Hey, Dark Gravity, thanks for stopping in. I really appreciate it. Yeah, listen to the rest of it. And if you guys have questions or something, um, I try to get through my emails. I've been catching up on them in the last two weeks. But you can always email me at zach.edc at gmail.com. Link's down in the description. Also, if you want to be a member, get exclu exclusive content, uh, you know, member-only photos and some videos and custom emojis on live chats and stuff, you know, hit up the, the join button or the link in the description. Uh oh, Keith's got a story to tell on Instagram. What's up, Taz? Welcome, Taz. 
Hilltop, throwing down the custom emojis. Thanks, man. How much is the small Benchmade fixed blade? That's a good question. Let me look here. Um, so we have the Hidden Canyon Hunter 15017-1, and it's going between 195 all the way up to the retail of 230 So 195 to 230 so far online. And they just came out this last week or so, so... People might be making deals. I mean, hunting season's coming up, so. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Keith has some delicious looking breakfast. Yeah, I was looking to buy a, a blue knurled handled um, SBR, the Protec uh, short bladed rock eye. So, yeah, if you if you know somebody that has one of those or something and they want to make a deal or or sell it at a you know fair price. Hey, women carry knives. Welcome. Oh, Brewer95. Thanks for the donation. That's super awesome of you. And he has a question. Says, if you only had the choice to carry one knife for the rest of your life, which one would it be? Oh, that's so rough. Now, can I make it um, specific? Do I, or do I have to be specific to like blade steel and handle? Or can I be generic to a point? Because generic to a point, I would have to say that carrying one of these for the last 20 years, even though it was the aluminum handle, it'd be the 940 Benchmade Osborne. And that's just for me. Oh, you'd carry the bug out in Malibu? Oh, nice. So if I could choose that, I would say that um, as a generic. Now, I love all the variants. And this blue G10, man, it's up there, you know? But I get so fi uh, fickle about... You know, all of a sudden it's carbon fibers, you know, hot. Um, they come out with a red resin infused carbon fiber two years ago. I mean, that stuff's amazing. So, yeah, specific model. Specific model. Yeah, John knows what it is. Hey, Christine, Women Carry Knives, check out her channel. Um, thank you for signing up as a member. That's awesome. I have a special video that's going out to you guys again this week. I know I just did one about a week and a half ago, but it is August. It's a new month, so I want to start with some new content for you guys for the month. And I'm narrowing down my final piece for the swag gift that I'm giving away to you guys. Yeah, you should go ahead and use it. You know, it's 20 CV. I've been using this one. You know, there's a little few marks up through here that you can see on the blade. Hopefully that... There we go. But the coating's holding up really well. You know, you can see a few on there. And it's G10. You're not going to mark up the handles. You know, the clip you can always switch out. This one's got a few marks on the clip already. Um, it is the, you know, the coated one. That kind of matches the blade. But I honestly, I thought I was going to swap this out for a mini deep carry. Um, or a standard deep carry. But this one's, the clip's actually, I mean, if you take away the look of it, the clip's super useful. Um... You know, it works great for pants, for shorts. I had all that today, and I just went through and just, you know, it fit in everything I wore. So the versatility of that clip, you know, it earned its name a long time ago. And Hey, welcome, Mikey. Mikey Rass joined up, new member of the Zach's Daily Carry crew. Everybody give him a shout-out with Christine. Oh, yeah, you don't have a problem with it either? Yeah, and they make them, you know, and I know you can buy them on the website now, which is kind of cool. Um... Oh, David, yeah, nice. That's so awesome, David. David's got one coming. Yeah, thanks for joining. Yeah, you got custom emojis. I know Jack's going to work on a couple things for me. Probably clean them up, make them look really nice. Mine's, mine's real cut and pasty. That's my graphics background right there. All right, Hollywood Tactical had a question. What one Benchmade folder would you recommend? The 940? I'm not impressed by the bug out. Yeah, I would say one folder. Um, depends on what your use is for, you know, and what you're going for budget. I would say, oh yeah, the red dye is going to look sick, Christine. All right, John, thank you so much for joining. Hopefully you get, uh, get those knives moved. That'd be cool. But, I mean, you can go with as basic as, like, a full-size Griptilian, which is super. 
Let me see if I have one here. So you can go as basic as like a, a, a standard Griptilian with FRN handles. Or you can go something like Super Freak. You know what I mean? G10, M4 coated blade, deep pocket. You got red backspacers, a little bit of deep kind of the wine red liners. And then you throw some red thumb studs on there. So, I mean, one, one only. Ooh, that's hard. I mean, I'm a 940 guy, but I know a lot of people, um, you know, it's they either love it or hate it on the... 940. So I would say, if, you know, it's hard to answer just one for every person because I'd want to know what you carry. You know what I mean? It's like, what, what knife do you prefer to carry size wise, everything? Yeah. And see, that's the thing. Like Peter, he loves a knife, but if I was to give Peter a knife, it's got to be the size of like this super freak for handle and blade, because that's what he prefers. And that's what he uses. But it also has to be in like titanium or something. Uh, three inches or less. I would say the carbon fiber. Here you go. The Mini Presidio 2 in CF Elite. That to me is going to be your, your solid full steel liners. This, this one's a powerhouse that I would recommend. It would get you anywhere. So S30V, just perfect. The grip on this is way different than the aluminum. So to me, that, that would be my answer for that one. Mini Freak's good too in the S90V. Dang it, I left it in the other room. But the, the CF Elite Mini Presidio is a smidge bigger than the, the Mini Freak too. Yeah, and it fits. And the full-size one's awesome. I have mine out on loan right now. My buddy's using it. What's up, CK? Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Welcome. Yeah, I could give Peter a smaller one, and then he would definitely uh, leave it around, and it would be available for use by other people. <laughs> How do I like the Oser Benchmade Tengu Flipper? I like it. And it's a smaller one. So it's, you know, it's up here, but it's one of those that, you know, com in comparison, I would say definitely check out my review on it. There's some really good size comparisons. I mean, I have a large glove size hand and you're going to want to grip it behind kind of where they've, they've put in that, you know, finger guard, you could say, but it's the flipper. All right, Keith, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for jumping in. Thanks for all your support. Everybody wish Keith a good night. And maybe uh, share some more breakfast photos. That was amazing. So it's, yeah, it's a pretty knife. It's made definitely to throw in your pocket. Um, you know, it comes with the leather sheath. I've heard that the white G10 of the liners in this. Oh, Big Red, thanks, man. Yeah, you can actually take this apart because these are, these are pins that have the screws holding them together. So the pins on this side... And then they go all the way through and secure with these. So you just have those three screws and then the pivot. And you can actually take those liners off and dye them. What's up, Bad Monkey EDC? So I might be trying something like that. Hold on just a second. I got a cough. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, have I had experience with Rich Light? No, this will be the first one on these right here. So this is the one that I picked up, which is the smaller version of the Hidden Canyon Hunter, and it's the Dash 1. That's the one I picked up, and I'm, I'm trying out. So it'll be interesting to see. Um, I would imagine it's a solid product, especially for with all the elements. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Peter. Uh, Jeremy Russell said, I picked up a second bench made or a second bug out in 20 CV trying to decide whether to keep it, stock it and put it away or customize it, sharpen it, put it in the rotation. 
Uh, is that the one with the G10? You should just dye it. Rid dye those scales and rock it. I've seen a couple rid dyed ones. They look great. Uh, not necessarily. It does a little tiny bit, but these are polished. You know, I think they, they do a fine finish on them. So it's all smooth. So there's no real texture to these. I mean, you can tell it's not like G10. But it's not, it's not like you're feeling Micarta or anything like that. Oh, <laughs> yep, that is true. I just got your message. Okay, roger that. Copy, that's a good copy. Uh, you've read yet to try any 20 CV M39 or any equivalent. They're good. I, I, my best recommendation, Winchester, have a good night. Thank you so much for stopping in. I would just suggest to keep it stropped up so you keep it sharp. Because a lot of people said they're harder to sharpen. <laughs> yeah, I, I, so I stand corrected. I have my 381, all if you may, and that has a rich light on it. My bad. What's your favorite current blade shape for EDC? Um, I'm a drop point fan. You know, but then when it comes down to you, my favorite knife, it's reverse Tonto. So, I mean, right now, most of the knives I have are drop point of some fashion. You know? So you're going to see blade shapes like that on a lot of the knives I have. I don't have a true, like, all right, bad monkey, get the kids to bed right on. All right, Southern Edge Knife Works, thanks again for your support. Thanks again for keeping that discount open for everybody. I appreciate you guys keeping me on my toes. Thanks for the live stream. Reverse Tonto, reverse the drop point. Let's make that a thing. Isn't that just going to be like a gut hook or something? Yeah, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, make sure to do something kind for someone this week. It's Monday, so we have a great opportunity to do that all week. Um, definitely, definitely keep doing what you're doing. You guys are awesome. It's such a great community to be a part of. The things that I've witnessed in the last week and a half, people are just taking care of people. People are doing things to support other people. Um, people, you know... People are helping people, and that's what it's all about. So, <laughs> I saw something type, but I think you pulled your message. Thanks, you guys. Yeah. Yeah, thank you guys for those who joined the Zach's Daily Carry Crew. You guys are awesome. You'll get some cool content coming out this week. Jason, oh, air up those tires on the girl's bike. Yeah, got to get her riding. All right, you guys. Professor EDC, CK. Yeah, the new bailout's nice. That's a good one. I might have to take that in and get a drop point made just to have one to match the previous version. But I'll probably have to pay a lot. Okay, sounds good, Jack. Yeah, I'll check it right after the stream here. Thank you so much. Yeah, Boney, you're probably right. <laughs> in my mind, I pictured like a reverse on that. BDZ, Big Daddy Zach. There you go, BDZ. <laughs> I can see that. I, I can see that on like a sticker of some nature. All right, you guys, take care. Do something kind for someone this week, and most importantly, stay true to yourself. I'll see you next time.